Hey guys, I'm Horror Movies here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV Advanced Solo Season Run. In our last episode, we made our way down to the underworld via Agard, and we made up uh, we met up with the Train of Dwarves, and met up with Grobez again. And his, ar his uh, arm somehow made it, out, made it out with the crystal, so now we have to make our way towards the Tower of Babel. But first things first, I actually did not heal up off camera like I said I would, so... <laughs> whoops, already got to a great start. Let's go ahead and heal up with a high potion real quick, and a quick ether. There you go. Now, we have some things to buy here first. Um, some new equipment for Cecil that I definitely want to get. Also, something else I need to do, actually, first thing. Um, config, change the battle mode back to active, and battle speed back up to 1, because I don't want battles to be pretty much at a snail's pace. I really don't want that. Alright, there we go. Now, new equipment here. Let's see, um, the dwarf axe for Cecil, um, yeah, it's a little bit weaker than, weaker than the flame sword, and it's also a little less accurate too, so I actually generally don't like that. Um, bow and arrows, if you really want to go for that. Um, flame sword already, so we're fine there. Uh, fire lance for Kane, if you really want that for him. Well, actually, not, well, not that, um, you do want to buy that for Kane if you are playing normally, but I am not, so there you go. So actually, nothing we need there, as a matter of fact. Um, new armor, though, we do want a fire shield for Cecil. I already had the flame mail. Um, yeah, Sage's Miter for, and, uh, Sage's Miter in Surplus for Iridia and Rosa, and a uh, Rune Armor for the three of them. Um, armor for here, um, we'll find stuff for Yane in a little while anyway, so don't buy, so uh, don't buy any new armor for him quite yet, so. so that's actually all I need to do there, so let me go ahead and equip this stuff real quick. Let's see, I don't, I really don't need the, uh, will bonus anymore, and actually I don't even know why I bought a Fire Shield, I forgot I already had one, so, huh, <laughs> whoops. See, I'll use the uh, Mythor Helm as well, so there's a nice defense boost there. Uh, Mythor Gloves and the Flame Mail. Okay, so that's how, that's how we, should, we should look for right now. So there we go, we're just go. And let me go ahead and sell these off real quick as well. Uh, let me see here, yeah. Light Helm, Gauntlet, Fire Shield, keep the Ruby Rain, uh, Knight's Armor, and the Light Shield. There you go, we're good to go. Um, let me see, as far as items go, actually, um, I'll show off what they have real quick. I may not need anything, but, um, actually, before I really go do that, let me go and show this off real quick. We have the Lally Ho Pub. They're always fighting, never dancing. Uh, well, good for you. And, um, okay. Um, WTF Dancing Dwarf. Well, this is, this is just a little awkward, to say the least. But I mean, if dwarves like to dance, then they like to dance. And jump and ow. That was kind of rude. Speaking of rude, yeah, you know what else is rude? Um, messaging someone on Skype when they're on Do Not Disturb. That's very annoying. So, yeah. And now you're set. Way to go. Now, there's nothing else we need to do in this room for right now, but if we go through here... I go downstairs, we have the development team office. Nice little bonus we put in for all the verbs of Final Fantasy IV. 1991 development team office. Let's go in and take a peek in here. We have S. Tanaka. I'm not sure what, what the what the first names are, so we have. I'll, I'll just use the last names. So yeah, Tanaka. It's a newbie. We have Endo, who's also a newbie. We have a, we have a frog. Poisumi. No vacation. Oh, no vacation for you. I'm sorry. Dobashi steal anything, well I would hope not, it's doing bad. A random, random battle? Tetsuya Ta Takahashi, um, what the hell, I can fight random battles in here? No, I don't want to die. I want to kill you, but I'm only dealing one damage. Um, try and run away? No, I don't want to die, let me run. Um, can I run away? That was just a little weird. <laughs> not really sure what the point of that battle actually is, but this is just for fun right now, so I'm just showing this off. Ooh, Chocobo, hi. Sakaguchi, here Nova Sakaguchi, the one and only. Pweh. Who else do we have in here? Adachi, the menu programmer. We have uh, Matsumura, the map design. Oh, no, we are just Cecil. No more, no less. So you talked about the pixel artist. Lord of the Super Pixel Artist. Didn't realize there was such a thing, but there you go. Who do we have over here? We have Hoshino for graphics. And then we have Nakata for graphics as well. And then over here, we have Tanaka for also graphics, so there we go. Um, Asaka Gucci would move his, his uh, feathery ass, we can now go over here. Oh, you would, dude, you would do that. Go to the right, no, no, right, no, go to the right, damn it, no. Thank you, good bird. Alright, this is the music room. You have Ito, or is it Ito or Ito? I, I really have no idea, for sound effects. Let's see, then we have, um, not even, not even gonna try pronouncing that, sorry, it's not gonna happen. So you have Nuo, okay, Nuobu Uematsu, I actually know that. Nobu Uematsu. So there you go. Ak, uh, not, not gonna try pronouncing that. Yeah, pronouncing Japanese names really aren't my forte. 
I try my best, but it, it pretty much fails horribly most of the time. So, there you go. Um, let's see. There's only one more thing to show off down here, so... Yeah, I'm just doing this for right now, before I head off, head off the Tower of Babel, so there you go. We have the break room. Um, we mean be of service. Oh, a new party member! But we have no room for you. Oh, uh, you just want out of here. Sorry, but you're stuck here, dude. And the main programmer, Narita. Good for you. Now, if we look in this bookshelf, uh, right here, we get a magazine! <laughs> I love the theme they use for this as well. Let's go ahead and take a peek at said magazine. I think Cecil may like this, may like this one a little bit. So let's, let's go ahead and show this off. Yeah, one of Cecil's favorites. <laughs> yeah, this is originally called Smut, I'm pretty sure, another translation of the game. But yeah, it's just called Magazine, this one. As the stream goes to a lusty pink, this is what I call great literature. Oh, Cecil. And with that, my headset slipping. Way to go. Alright then. And that's all we can do here for right now. But yeah, this is just a nice little bonus for the put in for the game, just to show off the development office and all that. So, there you go. Alright, now we're done there, and done, well, forever, really. So let's, let's get the hell out of here. And let's see. Um, what do I need to do next? I was trying to think for something there. Um, I need to buy items. Well, I don't know if I need to, but I will. So let's see here. Uh, we have two shops here, actually. We have this guy roaming around here. I'm trying to adjust my headset again. Sorry about that. So yeah, Phoenix Downs, uh, Potions, I actually don't need these anymore, I want to get rid of all of these. So yeah, Potions at this point are pretty much worthless, so yeah, just get rid of all of them. Um, let's see, I'll buy some more High Potions while I'm at, because I have, I have a ton of money, so, 99 of those again. Um, Tents, um, I, 41's enough, I think, for right now. Uh, Dwarven Bread, Dissolve Greens, Remedies, I actually do want some of these. Um, I'll buy 12, just have an even 15 for right now. And if that's all we can buy from here. And over here, what else do we have? Uh, gold needle, mains chest. I actually do want a bunch of these. Uh, mallet, diet food, yeah, blah 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 stats items. Not really anything to worry about here. And now that we're done here, let's go downstairs first. We have some treasures we can find around here first. Um, okay, nothing in here. Actually, wait, yeah, there's something in here. Well, let's see, we have some dissolved greens, some more dissolved greens, and even more dissolved greens. Now we have a fat treasure bow right here that we can use if you so need to, but I don't think I do for right now, so. There you go. And to make our way out to the, uh, on the way to the Tower of Babel, we have to go out through this way, but I won't do that quite yet, because we have some more stuff to find here first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. Let's see, um, the sad thing is though, the stuff here doesn't really benefit Cecil that much, but I'll just show it up anyway, just to, so you guys know where it is, so. Oh, in the West Tower we are. Oh, some treasure. Well, thank you. Uh, I think there's only like one or two things in here anyway. Um, let's see here. Uh, Bot of Cider, that'll help. Um, anything else over here? I don't really think so. Uh, no, alright then. Upstairs, to the West Tower, third floor. We have a high potion. Nice. Uh, make your way through here. It's, yeah, it's a little tricky to make your way through here, but we can do it. So over here for a black belt, that's a nice armor for Yang, so yeah, that's why I didn't buy anything for him earlier, so definitely equip that. Uh, Name way if you so need one, but I don't. Um, and Ether, those are always handy. And up here we have an elixir, nice. Elixirs will be very, very handy in the uh, next boss fight, actually. Next, yeah, next, boss fight. next boss fight, actually, I should say. So yeah, just keep that around, and that's all we can do here for now, so if I can make my way out of here, that'd be wonderful. Let's see, I'm recording this. Um, well, today, like right now, as in, um, Tuesday, the 21st, to upload tomorrow. And then what I'm thinking of doing, um, regarding uploading and all that, recording and uploading, um, uh, let me think here, um, I'm only doing two episodes of, of the Solar Run for right now, I'm doing it in the usual batch as always, so this episode will be up tomorrow, next one will be up Thursday, and I'll do more recording on Thursday for a Solo Run Super, Super Mario RPG to make those uh, Christmas episodes for you guys, because you deserve them. More so than you know. Let's see, more treasure over here. Uh, we have another box of cider. Uh, I'll take that. Nothing else over here? Nope, that's it. Okay, up here we have a power armlet. That's for Yang as well, if you want to use that. Though the rune armlet's, uh, the rune armlet's much better for him, I would say. So, another elixir. Awesome. Let's see, a silver hourglass. And let's see here. Can't get that one from any other way, I don't think. No, another. Nice. Alright, yeah, we're done here now, so let's make our way out of here. I've already wasted enough time here. I've already been here for like over half the video. Well, actually, yeah, well, not half, well... Well, this will be about 15 minutes or so, so it's, it's more than half, let's say. So, there you go. Uh, I was already here. No, no. Back downstairs, Cecil. Downstairs again. 
There you do. I knew you could do it. Yeah, make your way over here, then go over here this way. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually not lost for a change. Would you believe that? It's amazing. Anyway, boom, talk to this guy. We have permission to enter, so yay! We can do without the uh, jumping and dancing, thank you, but hey, whatever works for you, so there you go. It is nice that dwarves are a lively bunch, it is pretty cool, so. Lally ho! I'm not a hoe, how dare you? Slap. Hey, right, anything up here? Nope, all empty. Let's see, take care, thank you. There are gigantic cannons in Tower of Babel. Well, that's not good, we'll have to keep an eye out for those. Now over here we have some chests. We have a cottage, a cottage, and a third cottage. Yay! The cottages actually won't be needing those two too much because it's a solo run and they revive your party fully, so don't want to bother with that. So, there you go. Uh, more dwarves. Underworld monsters are fearsome. Be careful. I will keep a watch out for them. And my foot's falling asleep now. Oh god, this should be interesting. Oh god. Search me for sitting on my foot while recording. It's a really bad idea. Oh, well, hey, thanks for the compliment. I appreciate that. The Ruby can the scars of the four elemental lords. That's that, uh, blah, blah. Is that the Tower of Babel? Uh oh, we'll have to watch out for him as well. He who fights and runs away lives to see another day. Nice little rhyme you got there. Alright then, uh, are you the last one around here? You're one of the last ones, I think. If I can, if I can catch you. No. Oh, there you go. Oh, whoops, whoops. There you go, yeah, the plan, yeah, we sneak in while they distract them, pretty much. So, pretty simple plan, but it should work. I mean, this guy right here will tell us about this pot of life, or the water of life. Um, well, that that will actually um, fully heal your entire party, so I'm not going to use that as well. Well, I'm not going to use that period, I mean, but, um, yeah, if you're playing normally, it's a good idea to use that because enemies around here give a lot of experience points, so if, if you want to do some training, which I would do, rec I would recommend, um, you can go ahead and train up here for a while and heal up for free. And uh, speaking of which, actually, um, do I need to do any training at all? Uh, I'm actually pretty close, close to a level, so actually what I'll probably do, um, I'll, I'll, make my way to, I'll make my way towards Tower of Babel right now, then um, show off some new enemies as well. We have right, right up there. I am just off today. I'm talking way too freaking fast. I'm trying to slow down and relax. Anyway, a yeah, new enemy, Armadillo. They're very, very easy one-shot kills, so no worries there. Anyways, I was trying to say a second ago, um, yeah, we'll be doing some training off-camera. Um, well, maybe not... Well, I will, I'll be doing a little bit, but... Nothing much at all. I'll get season to level 51 before the Tower of Babel. That should be more than enough. I mean, if you really want to train more, um, maybe go to like 52 or 53, somewhere around there. That, sh that should work out pretty well. Um, oh, whoops. Um, okay, uh, I apologize for that. I, I hit the uh, alt button on my keyboard and uh, messed it up a little bit. So <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I did not mean to do that. Anyways, I was saying, um, yeah, if you do want to train some, maybe like 52 or 53 will work. Um, enemies around here have a lot of experience points at this point, so... Of course, we're also flying solo, so that'll definitely help there. Yeah, I think for right now, 50, uh, 50 and 51's fine. If you, have, uh, if you need healing, just, um, just high potions and ethers if you really, really need to. And then buy some more stuff at the uh, item shop that you run out. So that's pretty much all we need to do there, so yeah. Yeah, new enemies here, yeah, um, those black lizards, they're vulnerable to ice, but I don't have an ice weapon quite yet, so don't worry about that. But yeah, these all die in one shot anyway, so nothing to worry about, so, boom. Ooh, wow, a lot of experience points, almost 9,000. I'm not gonna make the joke there, it's been done way too many times before, so there you go. Alright, then, northward ho we go, and this kind of looks familiar. I'll go ahead and show it off, maybe I'll get my level on camera, and then go from there. It actually would help to save time, do it now, as opposed to off camera, so, oh well. You also, um, Goblin Captains, those are new, I didn't mention those at all. They're very, very easy, they die in one hit, so nothing to say about them at all. See, I have an email, yay! I don't want to take the survey, leave me alone. Alright then, so what else can I even mention right about now? Um, well, as of late, I've been playing a bunch of Wild Arms 3, I started a new game in that uh, a few days ago, actually. Uh, I've actually made, I'm actually pretty far into the game already, I forget where I have to go next. Uh, I just got, um... The uh, co Cosmic Cod, uh, Cosmic Cod uh, Medium, and uh, Infinitum, the part's called. Um, so yeah, I forget where I'm supposed to go next, actually. Um, I looked it up, but I really don't feel like it right now, so. <laughs> Hooray for laziness. Anyway, let's just make our way up here. Yeah, pretty straightforward water here. Just keep going north. Go to west, then north, as simple as that. And then, then, then you're there, pretty much. Yeah, this battle should actually give me a level up. If not, I'll be very, very close to it. Yeah, we'll probably do, since I am close to the tower, I'll probably just make my way inside and stop the episode right there, so. Yeah, just stick into the usual 15-minute 15 15 minute limit that I usually do, so. 
Alright then, that was easy enough. Level up? Yes, level 51, hooray! Alright then, do I need to heal up a little bit? Yeah, I will, why not? Now let's see, boom, boom, alright then, we're good. Alright then, northward, ho! Don't really know where that came from, but there you go. Alright then, and we are at the Tower of Babel, and uh, there are the Dwarven Tanks. I almost said Golem Tanks, for whatever reason, don't really know why, but oh well. Yeah, they're doing their own thing, so let's, let's make our way over there and watch the screen shake a little bit. And flag a little bit, and I apologize for that. And random battle. You know what? No. no I would have ambushed him. Thank you guys for an ambush. Thank you so much. Okay, anytime now, Cecil, there you go. Alright then, yeah, one more screen shake here. And then with that, we have made it to the Tower of Battle, but I'll meet you guys right back here for next time on Final Fantasy IV Advanced Solo Cecil Run. This has been Ion Movies on Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.